fueling speculation about a 2016 presidential bid, Vice President Joe Biden sounded at times like a candidate Wednesday as he kicked off a three-state trip in the swing state of Florida. Under the leadership of President Obama, and I'm prejudiced, I acknowledge, we've gone from crisis to recovery, and now we're on the verge of a real resurgence. Though officially Biden is promoting the administration's education agenda as well as the nuclear agreement with Iran, those close to the vice president have made no secret that he's testing the waters for a third White House run. Biden's supporters see an opening in Hillary Rodham Clinton softening poll numbers, as well as growing concerns among Democrats about her handling of the email controversy. Those pushing Biden to run say his history of fighting for Democratic causes, his personal struggles, and his candor. Ironically, something that has plagued him in the past make him an appealing choice. What Joe Biden brings to the race is the original authentic candidate. People know who Joe Biden is and they trust him and they look at him and they, they know that he's uh, uh, the kind of person who looks somebody in the eye and can really connect with them in a, in a very real way. A recent poll shows Biden with higher favorability ratings than Clinton and the ability to fare as well as or better than she does against the top Republican candidates. But a Biden bid would not be without its challenges. For starters, figuring out a way to distinguish himself from Clinton. Are there big issue differences between Hillary Clinton and Joe Biden? No. Is there, is there something that he's going to come out and say, boy, oh boy, I'm running because I believe X and Hillary believes Y? No. And then there are the issues of money and organization, something Clinton and even Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders have spent months building. But I think at this point, it's, way, it's too late um, in the process. I think the process has moved, the momentum has moved. I think many people are already committed on where they are and know where they stand. Perhaps complicating Biden's decision the most, he's still mourning the death of his 46-year-old son, Beau, to cancer in May. Admitting to National Democrats on a conference call last week, his heart and soul are pretty well banged up. Biden is expected to make a final decision sometime this month. Kelly Daschle, Associated Press.